Stars of the week have arrived. You'll likely see and hear the Blue Angels today as they start prepping for their show this weekend. We have Lieutenant Colonel Mike Dupree. They call you Doopy. Is that right? That's right. <laughs> uh, he joins us today. Uh, you're, I think that we probably worked together because I got to fly with the Blue Angels one year and uh, I know they're already in town. Um, everybody's excited. I especially like just when they're even kind of practicing rehearsing. Um, so they are the highlight of Navy week. Uh, what is so special about the Navy's Blue Angels? Well, they're the showpiece for recruiting for the Navy. Uh, that's, that's their main function is, is a recruiting piece. So they'll travel around the country and kind of highlight the Navy and the Marine Corps with sailors and, and uh, Marines and try to get people uh, involved with the armed forces and specifically the Navy and the Marines. Let's talk about this year, uh, the flight leader is uh, from Fargo. Is that is. correct, right? Yeah, Fargo South High School. Uh, in fact, I think he's visiting that school and then uh, Concordia College. So as local as you can get. Yeah, you can't. Yeah, that, no kidding. That's awesome. And let's talk about that because so many kids, I, as a kid, I went to Northern Neighbors Days up at the Minot Air Force Base and wanted to be, you know, a Blue Angel. And then, I mean, he, he is. So that's pretty incredible. And that's how it happened for Brian. Uh, I don't want to speak for him, but I kind of know his story. Uh, back when Gil Rood, who's also a North Dakota native, was the commander of the Blue Angels in the late 80s, uh, Brian went to the air show, saw the Blue Angels, decided that's what he wanted to do, and fast forward to 2021, here he is, commander of the Blue Angels. So it's a really good story. Well, and of course, the Blue Angels, it's the highlight of the week, but all week there's been really cool things going on uh, for Navy Week. Can you talk about some of the highlights? And, and there's still things going on today as well besides the Blue Angels practicing. So uh, it is, we have been designated as a Navy Week uh, in Fargo, which kind of gets people a little curious, uh, <laughs> but that's kind of their purpose is to spread around to places that aren't used to seeing the Navy. Uh, and trying to get people interested in the Navy and, and you know we're not close to a big body of water right you know, we've got all the lakes <laughs> uh, but yeah the Blue Angels uh, are obviously the centerpiece of that for us we also have the U.S. Navy Leap Frogs the parachute demonstration team they're arriving today as well uh, and then we've got a few other Navy assets that'll be parked on the ramp so okay so let's talk a little bit about everything that will be happening when the show starts because if you haven't been to the Fargo Air Show it's not only the Blue Angels no, absolutely not. Uh, we have the, uh, I'm a little uh, prejudiced to this, but the F-16 demonstration team is also arriving today. Uh, that's a single ship demo, but they do a really nice show. They'll be here uh, starting today. They'll practice tomorrow and they'll be part of the show uh, on Saturday and Sunday as well. Okay, and we have the graphic up there. Uh, Saturday and Sunday, the gates open at? I believe the gates actually open at 9 a.m. and the show will start at, at 11. 11. All right. right, so Saturday and Sunday. Yes. And uh, it really is a, you know, we talk about those two things really, but there's a lot of stuff to do on the ground. It's super family friendly. The kids just love it. Can you talk about some of the other things that'll be happening at the air show? We have a lot of stuff inside the gates. Uh, games galore is gonna be out there. We've got a lot of, uh, we've got a racing car driver that's gonna be giving rides around and, and uh, a lot of interactive type simulators and stuff like that that people are uh, gonna be having so kids can get involved with that. I think there's a STEM program that's gonna be out there. So lots of stuff uh, to keep you occupied in between the air show acts. But there's really not a lot of time to be honest. We've got a really full schedule. So it's gonna be back to back to back performances. And there's there's good food too. I mean, to be honest, like that's... The food's great. <laughs> uh, we've got a lot of food out there. Uh, my wife's bringing her shaved ice trailer up there for the heat. So that's gonna be a big hit. Perfect. So yeah, tropical snow will be fun. Well. Thank you so much for coming in today. We're going to hear and see the Blue Angels probably uh, doing a little practicing today and tomorrow and then the big show, Saturday and Sunday. Right. Thank you yeah, so much. Come on out. Stay with us. Coming up next, it's not just about looking good. It's important to protect your eyes with a great pair of sunglasses. We're talking to Aspire Optical next.